Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be how to get a 5 on the AP macroeconomics exam. And yes, I know that I sound really bad because I'm sick, so please excuse that. Um, so I took the AP macro, sorry, macroeconomics exam two years ago in 2015 and I got a 5 as a freshman. So yeah, hopefully my tips will be helpful and let's get into the video. So the first thing that people usually ask me is what prep book should I buy for the AP macroeconomics exam? So I recommend getting both the Princeton Review and the Barron. So I just like both of them and I honestly feel like some aspects are better in the Barron's and some aspects are better in the Princeton Review so I just recommend getting both. So yeah, I definitely recommend both of them. I don't think that you need to get any other prep book because these are the only ones that I use. Moving on, um, I definitely would say that you should get at least one of these books. Um, and I overall use the Barron's a little more so if you want to buy only one then I definitely recommend the Barron's. Yeah, you can see that I used it a lot. That's kind of an understatement. I pretty much use this like a bajillion times. So yeah, as you can see I wrote all over it. Um, so yeah, those are the prep books that I recommend. I think I've already said that so let's move on to the next topic. So the next thing I want to talk about is AP exam prep resources. That would be like outlines, useful websites, um, things like that. So some of the ones that I recommend are Sparknotes because Sparknotes has really nice mini lessons for um, AP macro. I also recommend, I have a list here, apeconstudyguide.com. Oh, by the way, all these resources are down in my description box if you need them. Okay, so I also recommend Sarver, AP Econ Outlines, um, FlatWorldKnowledge.com. They have like really good lessons for economics, um, so that's just a good place to go if you're like really confused about a specific topic. Um, AP uh, or EconPerspectives.com, and then also there's this um, website called DentonISD.org, and they have released AP exams which is really useful. They have like the 2001, 2005, and 1995, I think. So that's um, three AP exams right there that you can use to study for. I also recommend Mr. Hicks MPH, or MPHS, so MP High School, I guess. He also has some really good resources for AP Macro on his website, so the link is in my description. In regards to like AP exam um, resources, those are really great and then also the released exams that I just talked about the 2000 2005 and 1995 ones are really good and you don't have to worry about like how relevant they are because the AP exam has pretty not much not changed over the past 20 years so you should be good okay so and and a couple other resources that there are are YouTube channels I recommend ACDC econ um, he has really good videos just kind of summarizing everything you need to know for the AP exam and he also just has really good like mini lessons on every single topic that will be on the AP exam. So if you're confused about something, I definitely recommend checking out ACDC Econ. Another uh, good YouTube channel to look at is um, Noble Economics. They also have like really good summaries for um, the AP exam. And then also I think Crash Course started an economics series. I haven't really watched it since... I didn't really need to, but I think you can also check that out as well. Okay, so now let's talk about an AP prep plan. So the first thing I recommend to do is read over your prep books at least once to make sure that you cover all of the material. Um, so definitely like actively read, highlight, write in the margins, you know, take notes, make flashcards, maybe you use Quizlet, Quizlet sorry. Things like that just to kind of help you memorize things better. Um, the next thing I recommend to do is take at least two AP practice tests because you really want to get to know the format of the test um, and not kind of jump in unprepared. So I definitely recommend doing that and going over all of your mistakes because that's the best way to learn for the AP exam. I also recommend maybe going over at least 
a few more FRQs and you can find them on College Board. And it's just really useful because a lot of people get freaked out on their FRQs. Um, like that's because it's pretty much like 50% of your grade. Okay, so I then recommend to um, make a study guide. So once you've gone through your AP exams and all the mistakes, make a study guide. So what I mean is like get a blank sheet of paper and write out all the things that you need to memorize for the AP macro exam. So any examples that you found useful or maybe a couple tricky questions that were on the test that you thought that you think you knew go over before the exam. Anything that you think is useful and pretty much think of this sheet as the thing that you will be looking for 10 minutes before you have to go in to take the exam. Anything that you really knew like skim over. So my like cheat sheet as I call it was pretty much like two pages. So like front and back, front and back. The first one was just like all concepts. So it was basics of economics. So like demand, supply, definitions, what affects demand, what affects supply, um, you know, price, floors, pli price, um, ceilings, what they are, definitions, stuff like that. Um, circular flow diagram, business cycle. And then um, I made a second one where it was all the graphs that I needed to know um, for the AP exam, so like exchange rates, um, things like that, um, or just demand and supply graphs. Um, so I made like all of the ones that I needed to, to know, and you can actually find like um, a summary of all the graphs you need, either in your prep book or um, from one of the uh, Noble Economics videos. Um, but yeah, so and then you just put that down on your paper, and then the morning of the exam, just like keep going over your paper and also not just the morning of the exam like the week before the exam you know when you're driving somewhere when you're just standing somewhere doing nothing just keep looking over that piece of paper I definitely recommend doing that so yeah once you've done all of that then you should pretty much be good just go over the things that you're really confused about or the mistakes that you made on the practice test like keep going over those um, so you don't make the same mistakes. Go over more FRQs because that's usually the thing that really throws people off. And then just do as many practice tests as you can in the time that you have to prepare for the AP exam. And if you do that, you should pretty much be good. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope that you guys found it helpful and that it was useful. And if you did, please leave a thumbs up so that I know. And also so that more people can find this video. Um, but yeah, I hope this guy, uh, this not this guy, this video was helpful. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.